Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now we have started talking about objects right and we moved towards class and then we have discussed about inheritance. Now it's time to focus on one of the major concepts in OOPS which is polymorphism. Oh, that's a weird word, right? Now when you talk about polymorphism, it's break down this word poly and morphism. So poly means many, right? And when you say morph, it means forms. So that means one thing can take multiple forms. Example, like as human, you know, we have different forms. As the situation changes, we change ourselves, right? Example, we behave differently, different location at office. We behave differently when we are with our friends, we behave differently. So we are polymorphic. In the same way, when you talk about objects, object oriented objects will have multiple forms so this concept is very important when you talk about software development so we use this concept a lot when it comes to loose coupling dependency injection we also have a concept of interfaces which we'll see later there are four ways of implementing polymorphism the first one is duct typing in python the second one is operator overloading then we have method overloading and method overriding in the next few videos we are going to talk about all these topics okay and one of the interesting one is duct typing especially if you're coming from different background let's say if you have already seen java or c plus plus or c sharp this is a bit different for you because in java or in c sharp we have to mention the type of the variable which you work with right we have to mention the type of object you work with but python we have something different right so we'll see that in the next video so polymorphism basically is one thing with multiple forms and how exactly we can implement that that we'll see in the next video